we're going to get going ahead and get started. First up, we're going to hear from Ebony, Savannah from Ebony. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you doing? Very good, wonderful. Good. Yeah, so once again, congratulations on your awards this evening and just all the phenomenal work that you've done over the years. We're just so excited for you. Thank you. Um, so Viola, you've always been just such a source of inspiration for our community, whether on screen or on social media with your inspiring words and celebration of our culture. What are some ways that you would encourage young creators who are now coming up to step into, hone, and really maximize their artistic and creative power, especially as we continue to navigate the COVID-19 pandemic? Um, you know, I always say that um, whatever field that you decide to pursue in the entertainment field, whether it be acting, whether it be music or writing or whatever, you have to do it as much as you can in as many scenarios as you can. You do it until you just, you just sort of spread um, a wealth or, of, of your work around. Um, because I, I, feel, I feel like I, I have to say that because I think that a lot of people who have been coming to go, come into acting have a tendency to wanna to be a famous actor, not just an actor. So I encourage young people to really, really hone their skills. Be as excellent as you possibly can. Always challenge yourself. Um, work in every capacity you can, not just in Hollywood, in schools, in your community. Um, you spread a wealth of your talent everywhere because you, your responsibility is just to plant the seed. You don't know how it's gonna grow. You just have to plan it. And that's what I would say. Amazing. Thank you so much and congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you, Savannah. Next, we're gonna hear from Ja Girl TV. Hi, Mrs. Davis, how are you? Good. First, let me just say congratulations on all of your Black girl magic. I mean, making history, knocking down barriers for women of color. I just have to give you your roses before I ask my question. <laughs> you. <laughs> yes, you're so welcome. So I know that it has been announced that you will be playing the leading role of Miss Michelle Obama for the Showtime series First Ladies. And I know you spoke with the former First Lady. And I just want to know, was there any advice advice or any pointers that she gave you to prepare for portraying her for the series? Absolutely not. And let me tell you something. <laughs> I wish she had, because I could use that right now, Michelle. And she, she really insists that you call her Michelle, but I, I, I could use it right now. But she's, <laughs> she's, she's one of those, she's, she's everything. Yes. She's, she, she is a, a goddess. I she probably would cringe if I said that, but I'm going to say it anyway. I love her beyond love. And I think she would never do what you suggested because she has too much respect for people um, in whatever field they, they study. She's just, all, she's just a bastion of support. That's what she is. <laughs> Nice, that's so beautiful. So again, thank you so much. And they picked the perfect person to play her. Let me just say that, okay, <laughs> queen. <laughs> thank you so much and congratulations on tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ja Girl, and definitely pick the perfect person. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we will hear from Refinery29, Unbothered. Hello, hi. Hi. Can everyone hear me? Hi. Thank you so much uh, for being here, for all the work that you do. Congratulations. Um, so my question, Ms. Davis, is you recently made history as the most nominated Black actress in Oscar history. You won two awards tonight. You've talked about viewing award season as a platform and, quote, another opportunity to speak about the fundamental truths of Hollywood and this business in America. So what do you think of the fact that this award show is one of the few that celebrates and honors black talent in the way that they should be? What does that say about Hollywood and America? Well, what it says about, well, what it says about the NAACP Image Awards is thank God for the NAACP Image Awards or else we would still stay in the cloak of invisibility. 
Um, what I will say about Hollywood is the same thing I say about Black history, that actors and artists of color, we are artists. We belong in the same conversation as everyone else. And be, it, it's because uh, a lot of times we are forgotten or not held in as much esteem as sometimes our white counterparts is why we need NAACP Image Awards, is why we need Essence Luncheon. And we literally look, I don't know if I could say I look forward to the day where there is no NAACP Image Awards or whatever, because and listen, it's, we're dope, right? <laughs> but I look forward to the day when we no longer have to teach people how to see us. Yeah. That we no longer have to keep, you know, trying to break out of that shroud of invisibility where we, our talent can be embraced as much as our, our white counterparts. I look forward to that day. But I feel, I really do feel that the game changers, the rule breakers, the people who are going to change the narratives of uh, the narrative out there is us. That's who's going to be, who's going to change it. We are now harnessing all of our talent, all of our um, ingenuity, and we are literally demanding to be seen. So that's what I would say. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're definitely a game changer and a rule breaker. We appreciate you. Thank you. And I love those yellow nails. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Kathleen. And uh, our last question is going to come from the hot zone. The hot zone. Can I get the uh, video on? Here. Hello? Yes, I'm sure. I believe they're working on getting the video. Oh, okay. Start with the question. Perfect. Well, congratulations. I first want to say to you, Viola, for uh, winning the uh, NAACP award. Congratulations to you so much. I'm a big fan of yours. Um, so I first wanted to say, you know, you played both characters of um, how, how to get away with murder and also uh, Ma Rain. And they were both very outspoken and you know very complex. So which of the you know both characters were more emotional for you to play, or how or which one did you relate to uh, the most? I relate to both of them. They both I relate to both of them. I relate to any human being that's trying to navigate their way in the world and they're not understood. Uh, people refuse to see them. They're both, they're two dark skinned black women, um, which that's a whole other conversation in terms of colorism right there. They're all smart. They're both smart. They're talented. They are forced to be reckoned with and yet nobody sees it. They're constantly having to prove themselves. Um, I get that. That has been my life. Right. So I, and I think it's very honest. <laughs> right. So, um, I relate, I, I relate to, to both of them. I, I have to say that at 55, the only thing that has changed is I refuse to explain myself now. That's the only thing that's probably changed. But still, I feel that what comes at me is still a lot of the energy that came at Ma Rainey and Annalise Keating. Wow. Well... Fantastic work, Viola. Congratulations to you once again on Thank the NAACP you. award. And uh, I wish you all the success in the future and keep doing your thing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Take care. Thank you, Jason, with the hot zone. And thank you, uh, Viola Davis and the Davis family for joining us on this virtual press conference. Congratulations on multiple awards tonight. And thank you just for continuing to inspire the culture and, and, and just be the, the strong, black, beautiful queen that you are. And we wish you much more success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.